Congratulations. Um, Thank you. you know, defense was just outstanding tonight. Like the first half, you held their top four scores just to uh, two goals. Uh, we've seen them a lot in the last little bit, so uh, we kind of understand their tendencies. And I think we, like when we lost in Buffalo, we got away from our game a bit, and then we started uh, getting on the pressure a lot more and making those guys have less time to think. And you know, the result was you know the score that you saw. Then tell us about your goal. You intercept the pass and go in and score on the breakaway. That had to be a big boost for you. Yeah, I had my eyes closed from about center end. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, I, you know, you play enough against these guys. And they kind of know your tendencies, and then it kind of becomes a mind game. You know, Kazi kind of always thinks I shoot far side, so I, uh, I went short side, and he had kind of guessed the wrong way, so I got lucky there. In, uh, heading into the uh, the mini game, uh, what was the feeling there? Obviously, it had to be tense both ways because you know one mistake and could be season over. Yeah, you know what? We've uh, this team is kind of you know last few championships and uh, just, yeah, just the level of composure with uh, some of the veteran guys, right? So it's just uh, we just knew if we went out and played our game, we would get uh, you know the goals we needed to uh, to win the game. And Max uh, Vince came up with a couple of huge saves there in the uh, in the Southern Death uh, period. That's why we have him. <laughs> you know, he's, uh, he's the best at what he does, and uh, when when we screw up, he bails us out, and that's uh, that's kind of how we exist back there on D, right? Uh, Do you think having the home field advantage was in your favor? Yeah, we always play great in this building. Just uh, it's a little bit of a smaller building, and we get it better on our pressure. You know, the guys like offensively are more closer to us. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, having our fans and just, you know, being comfortable. We're always here, so it's just, you know, it feels like home. And uh, going now for the third straight uh, uh, League to the Champions Cup uh, by, by the team. Uh, thoughts on that? That's the, that's the end goal, right? Anytime from the start of the training camp to, uh, you know, the start of the season and all along, we're kind of talking and building for that championship. Um, so we're here again, and... We're going to be playing a good Calgary team, and they've, uh, you know, we've seen them early on. They beat us, uh, so I feel like we own one. Yeah, they beat you out there, but not, not, not here. The only loss here was to Edmonton, and they knocked them out. Yeah, exactly. Well, we get, uh, I guess, I think we end up getting them the second game here right, in the mini right. game. So yeah. hopefully we don't have to go to that crazy mini <laughs> game again. Uh, that's not good for anybody's heart, but uh, um, you know, so we we own. What are your thoughts on going through that mini game round? You know, I, again, I would, I understand the logistics of it. I'd probably prefer a full game um, because, again, anything can happen, right? So I think they kind of have the series, so they kind of take that anything can happen out of it, and uh, that's sort of what the mini game represents a little bit. But uh, thank God it worked out, right? What about going into that overtime? Yeah, I guess the <laughs> of all of that just kind of keep our composure. Like we, it was funny when we scored in the mini game. It was like we, um, or yeah, when we scored the first goal in the mini game to tie it up at one. It's like we celebrated like we won the game, and it was like wait, you know. So we just you know level out our composure and, and make sure that uh, we were even keel and just kind of stay at it like it's a normal game and just play our, our systems right. Thank you.